Before you can access any of the modules in your account, you have to complete the module called Prerequisite End User License Agreement EULA, which you see on your screen here. Your student account is for your use only, and access sharing is not permitted. Completion of the EULA module confirms that you agree to these terms. Before we walk through how to navigate your student page, you should know that you can use any connected device to study using CY Learning. However, for the most enjoyable and easy to use learning experience, we recommend using a desktop or laptop computer and a Google Chrome web browser. Okay, so you've just registered with CY Learning and are accessing your student page for the first time. Wow, there's a lot here, isn't there? I'm going to use the CY study tools that focus on the Canadian Securities Course Exam 1 for the purposes of this tutorial, so your page may look a little different depending on which course you're registered in. The first step is to select your course study materials from the navigation area to the left of your screen. Once you click, the study modules will appear to the right. The modules are broken down by chapter or section and by which kind of tool it is. For example, FC stands for flashcards, QZ for quiz, and PE for practice exam. Select the course module you want by clicking on the start or continue button on the right of your screen. Okay, in the next video, we're going to talk about how all of these tools fit in to an effective study program. Here at CY Learning, we recommend that you study chapter by chapter or section by section depending on how your course is structured and that you use the individual study tools in the following order. First, if your subscription includes video lessons, watch any that relate to the chapter or section. Next, read the chapter in the study guide and or the course provider's textbook. Then work through the key concept flashcards. And finally, complete the chapter quiz, which includes detailed answer keys. Now, move on to the next chapter and repeat the process. Once you've gone through this study process for every chapter or section and you're feeling good about the course content, it's time to start gearing up for your exam. At this point, do the CY Learning Practice exam, Rewatch any video lessons that focus on areas where you may need a little fine tuning, do any practice questions that may be available from the course provider, and refer to their textbook if you really want to sink your teeth into some of those concepts. Now, before we talk about the final step, it's important to note that we do not cover everything in the textbook. That's what your textbook's for. We encourage our students to read the textbook and keep it on hand as a valuable resource tool, but the CY tools are designed to focus your learning on the core concepts of the course. The different study tools we just discussed are like the legs on a stool. They work together to support you, but without one of them in place, you may not get the support you need. Now, we don't necessarily touch on everything in every tool. For example, if there's a concept that we can teach you with a simple flashcard or maybe just one paragraph in the study guide, we may do that. Or we may expose you to a concept for the first time in a chapter quiz question knowing you'll get it wrong. Sometimes being caught a little bit off guard by a question on something that maybe you haven't seen before creates a concrete learning experience. While it may be frustrating, it can have the effect of hammering home the learning point. Trust me, there's a method to our madness. Alright, the final step is to watch our Top 10 Trainer Tips video for some great study tips and exam writing strategies. You can find that video on our YouTube channel and there's a direct link to our channel here. If you follow this process, you'll be as prepared as you can be on exam day. Some of our study programs, including the one that's focused on the Canadian Securities course, as we're talking about in this tutorial, include e-learning training videos. These videos focus on concepts that students tend to struggle with and areas where we can add a lot of value very quickly, perhaps with a great analogy, a memory aid, or maybe just a humorous way of looking at things to help the learning stick. Each mini lesson is designed to have a meaningful impact on your exam result. I think you'll especially like that the lessons are organized by module or topic, so they'll be a great resource throughout your studies.
So how do the video lessons fit in? Well, watching the videos should be the very first thing you do because they can save you a lot of time and lay the groundwork for the rest of your studies. After watching a trainer walk you through some of the key concepts in the course, you'll find that you'll be able to read the study guide and or the textbook much faster and you'll remember more when you do. If e-learning videos are available for the course you're studying and you have not yet added them to your student account, it's not too late. Just click on the module called Add to Video Lessons as shown here and register. You'll be glad you did. Most CY Learning Study programs include a study guide, which is designed to continue building the fundamental knowledge of the course material, especially if you've already watched any e-learning videos that may be in your account. The study guide condenses and simplifies the course content using everyday language, memory aids, analogies, and exam tips. We recommend you read the study guide for a particular chapter before moving on to the flashcards and quiz questions, as it'll help you to build a solid foundation. To access the online study guide, select the study guide course module and click on the start button on the far right of your screen. Once the study guide opens, click on the cover and the guide will open in full screen mode. You can now flip through the pages as you would with a normal hard copy book. You can even go directly to a particular page by using the scroll bar at the bottom. One of the features that's really great is you can search for specific text. For example, if you wanted to find protective provisions in this particular study guide, you can type protective in the search bar and the instances of that word will appear in the box. When you're done your study session, click on the X in the top right hand corner and then on the exit button to go back to your student account. Now, if you're anything like me, you may prefer to have a hard copy of the online study guide so you can highlight text, fold page corners, add sticky notes, or whatever you like to do that helps you review. If you didn't add a printed version to your subscription when you first registered, you can order one now by clicking on the link in your student page. We make hard copy versions available to our students essentially at our cost, but only to those who already have the online version. Once you've watched any videos that may be available and read the study guide for a particular chapter, it's time to move on to the flashcards. The flashcards are designed to teach you many of the key concepts that you'll find on the exam really quickly. You can cover a lot of ground in a very short period of time with the flashcards. It's almost like you have a personal tutor by your side asking you questions and then giving you detailed answers. Now, the flashcards aren't graded, they're just questions and answers. To access the flashcards, find your course study materials in the navigation area to the left of the screen. Once you click, the study modules will appear to the right. The modules are broken down by section and by what kind of tool it is. Look for FC, which stands for flashcards. Select the one for the chapter or section you're working on and click on the start or continue button to the far right of your screen. When you're presented with a flashcard, read it and answer in your head or write the answer down. Then click on CY Learning's famous big red answer button. Did you get it right? If so, pat yourself on the back. If not, that's okay, it's a learning opportunity. But either way, study the answer key very carefully. There's a lot of good learning there. Once you've completed the flashcard module, click next and then make sure you click on the complete course button. Don't worry, you can do the flashcards again. This just tells the systems that you've completed this attempt so it can mark the activity as complete. Once you've worked through any applicable videos, the study guide, and the flashcards for the chapter, it's time to do the chapter quiz. This is where the rubber really hits the road. Each quiz is a learning tool in and of itself, so don't wait until you feel you know the content cold before tackling them. Now, you may find the style of language a little bit different than the real exam. After all, we're trying to simplify things. But if you know the content well, it shouldn't matter how they ask a question on the exam, you'll be ready. The key will be to study the answer key that appears after every single question and review the material in the CY videos, study guide, or course provider's textbook. Much of the learning takes place in these answer keys, not just from doing the questions themselves. Now, after watching videos, reading the study guide, and doing the flashcards for a particular chapter, you should be aiming to achieve a score of 70% or better on your first attempt on the quiz. 
If not, that's okay. Review your weak areas and take the quiz again until you're scoring well, being careful not to simply memorize the answers. Instead, take the time to reread every detailed answer key and continue to review as necessary until you have a really good handle on the material. Once you've completed the quiz, click on the finish button and make sure you click on complete course. Don't worry, you can take the quiz again. This just tells the system that you've completed this attempt so it can mark the activity as complete and record your score. The randomized practice exam that you see in your account should be done on the final few days before the real exam. The practice exam takes a selection of exam level questions from the chapter quizzes and gives them to you again in a weighting similar to what you'll see on the real exam. To be clear, these are all questions that you will have seen before, so you should score well on your first attempt. This is all about review, review, review. At CY, we don't want to hold any questions back just to save them for review. The danger there is that on your last day or two of study, you could see questions or concepts that you hadn't seen before and you might not have time to review them. A good target to shoot for on the practice exam is a score of 90% or better to be considered ready for the real exam.